we can't discount the fact that what we can do with technology today, digital technologies and, and the social networks that we're all connected to, have changed the world. And so my question is, what do you do when your new emerging customers come to your store and it's not that they won't be interested in your stuff, but they may literally not be able to understand what you're saying or communicate with you in a way that you've always tried to communicate with customers mm -hmm. that is the basis of your business platform. What we, I think retailers and brands have always wanted to do is get customers to adopt their brand, right? Well, how can you do that other than the stuff that customers buy? One way to do it for sure is to allow customers to write themselves into the narrative. What we want to do is try to get customers to participate in the making of that experience. And when they do, it becomes more relevant to them. How do we use that technology maybe to, to help us rather than take away from us. I think we've discovered that the web is simply another vehicle or another channel for us to get customers or get to customers and sort of engage them. Um, the, the key driver, I think, uh, along with the idea of engaging their interest in making things is to understand an idea I have called technempathy. And that is using technology in the service of empathic extension so that the use of storytelling and digital media for storytelling is directly involved to getting me to feel something and using it as a tool to allow customers to interact in an empathic way so that we are reading stories, hearing stories, looking at imagery and things like that that are triggering those sort of empathic centers of us and using technology as a medium to sort of move, move that experience through.